Well, here we are back at the dig. This is day two of looking for the Nelimonite pseudomorphs. And so today, once again, I'm joined with my brother over here. Hey. And I've also got my good partner out here, Tim, who is his first time and right off the bat, he's got some crystals he's pulling out right here. I'll get you in close so you can see the crystals right there. We're gonna see if we can get that mostly out. It looks fractured, unfortunately. But usually where there's one, there's more. Here it comes. No. So you can see the cube that's been fractured, which is pretty typical up here. Usually about a third of the things I find are fractured. I don't know if it's the whole thing. So we got looks like it's So we got Tim here digging in the place I was before, and here's his first big find right here. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely crystal. In the matrix still or actually there's probably some other and ones i got one right here yeah beautiful kyler says he pulled something out what'd you pull out my first one today oh it's a nice dark one too you want those dark ones they're really nice very good everybody off to a good start except me so i had a few big rocks from yesterday that i was going to break open but i didn't have a big enough hammer at the time so i got one this time Busted this rock open and look at that. Beautiful cube. Nice. It looks like we got another one right there. So we'll go ahead and break that out. Oh, look at that. Right there. Yeah, this rock's got some good stuff in it. Oh, oh, gosh, even more in here. Oh, this has turned out really nice. Little, little tiny <laughs> Hey, tiny ones are great if they're pretty. There we go, just pulled another one out. Add that to the pile. Some people might say, leave them in the matrix. Most of these are kind of loose though. That is one. Tim just pulled this out. Look at the size of that one. Of course, it's kind of a rusted one, so it might not be the prettiest, but it's huge. Hey, there's this one. That's big. <laughs> been here how long? 10 minutes? <laughs> hey, you want to try to break this open? Sure. Boy, this rock don't want to break. Here's another one. Huh, look at that. Just pulled another one. Bucket for you. All right, that one finally came out. It's a little fractured on that side, so that broke off, but the rest of it's still pretty nice. Now we just got to get this big one out. Might just come out. Oh, there we go. Came out. Look at that one. Beautiful. I think that's everything in the rock. Well, there's a little corner picking out of there, so I guess I better keep breaking it. Oh, uh, look what just look what Tim just pulled out. Beautiful twin right there. Good size too. And that those will those are nice. Those will clean up nice and look really nice. It's that dark stuff you're looking for. Very nice. That's where I'm at so far with those. And I still got all of this rock to break open. There it is, bunch of, bunch of crystals. There it is, bunch of crystals, pieces. <laughs> that one hauled out a lot, didn't it? That was the first one I found. But oh, that's nice. Out of it. There we go, looking nice. Tim just pulled out a nice cube. Let's take a look at that thing. Beautiful. That'll look nice cleaned up. So Tim was being quiet over here. Quiet. He apparently didn't want me to see what he had. Jeez. Ugh. That right there. You're looking at probably $100 right there. That's bonkers. That one's beautiful too. Whew. That's a decent cluster as well. 
one in a new spot to try here down that way and I think I finally am into something just pulled that rock out you can see a cube there there and there and I pulled a nice one out a while back right there so looks like I'm in a nice zone that's gonna produce we'll see if we can get anything big here looks like I put the camera away too quickly just as, soon as I said that there we go bigger stuff coming out right there we'll head that way just pulled that one out right behind the other one going that direction right there beautiful so Tim's been moving, making good progress he's found lots of stuff and I just pulled this out that he wants me to try and break these out of some nice clusters so we're gonna get those out all right the first one just popped out and here it is it is beautiful nice big cube with a bunch of smaller ones coming off we just pulled the last cluster out look at that that's like three big cubes that's great oh look what he just pulled out oh that's a gorgeous one oh, i found these ones right here oh i see why you left kyler <laughs> immediately pulled the first one the backside's rusted all the way through got something here oh there's a little one here um oh snap look at that thing oh that's beautiful Ooh, i hope that's a big cluster and not just a single cube all right tim i don't know how it's it seems like it's stuck in the rock so work on the rock around it see if you can get loose the rock around it start with that one closest to you maybe it looks like it's coming out now oh well it's just a cube but it's a beautiful one Got it out. There it is. That's a nice cluster. This thing is just staring at me. It doesn't want to come out. <laughs> it's all loose. It's still embedded in the rock beneath it. Looks like I finally worked it loose. There it comes. Beautiful. Nice cluster. Looks like Tim has found a nice cluster. You can see it right there in the middle of the screen. Right, and get that thing out. Oh, oh it's fractured right there. That's unfortunate. Okay, the rest of it's good though. Oh, it's really rusted, but it's still a big cluster. Nice. Look what we have here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm sorry, I'm like a gopher right now. Come on. There it came. Woo! That goes there. Nice. I have literally pulled all that out in the past like for me. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I've got this cluster about to come out right here. And then Tim's got one over here. <gasps> Look, oh gosh. Look at the size of that cluster. Okay, can Tim get this out safely? Okay. It might take me a minute. All right, I'll go back to working on mine for just a minute while you keep working on it. It's pretty loose. Some of these places where it's close to the surface. And you can usually just kind of use your fingers to get the dirt to move enough to get it out. Okay, mine's coming out. Okay, coming over to yours. So that's the tip, like you said, it was fractured. Yeah. Here's the rest of it coming out. Shoot. That's huge. Oh, man. We're going to have to see what that looks like cleaned off. Oh, that's a huge one. 
All right, back to mine. Let's see if I can get this one out. Yeah, nice spherical looking cluster. Very nice. So Kyler is in the spot now and he just pulled these out. Yeah, just within a, the last minute. Just a little cluster here and, and that big thing. Yeah, things are good. There's one. That's one of them. Is that the one you saw? Yep. I just was digging and thought it was another rock. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Can't wait to see that cleaned up. Oh, I can't wait either. That looks so nice. Holy. What the? I wasn't finding anything this size at all. <laughs> and then, boom. <laughs> Wow, that is, that's a huge cluster. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Biggest cluster I've, I've pulled off of this mountain. That is probably the find of the day. Wow. All right, Kyler, so what'd you find? All right, so this is over the last two days of going. Um, so I found some really cool stuff. Just to highlight some of my favorites, this is one of them, because on this one, you can actually see that there's a band of them right there bunch of little ones. Kind of cool to see that band going through. Nice. And you can see I also found some really big ones, some good clusters. You can see the crystals on there. It's got a pretty big one there. Very nice. Big one right there. And then this is one of my personal favorites just because it's kind of silly. It looks like it has two ears on the end. So I call this my Frankenstein one. Um, you can see, also got some really nice ones here. We can come over this way. Got a couple good cube ones. And, but one of my Dog. personal favorites. <laughs> one of my personal favorites is actually this one right here. It's really small but it's got some beautiful squares on it put together. Nice. Some beautiful squares. So yeah, looks like I was able to find quite a few black ones and some of them that have some really cool uh, patterns you on like them. You like them too, Bucky? <laughs> so I would say it was successful. All right, so after washing, here's my collection from today, day two. Some nice larger clusters, very nice looking. Really nice ones. This was the really big one that I got. It is really covered with stuff still. So we are going to try and see if we can't remove some of that to get down to it because it would be amazing if I can. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. Just a bunch of nice things all through here. Okay, Tim, let's see what you found. Oh boy, quite a pile here. Show me what good stuff you've got. The big crystal there. Uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, that's pretty nice, look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nah. oh. They shouldn't drop them on top of each other. Oh, that's a nice crystal. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And then the best one. Let's see your big one. Oh, look at that. Huge. Let's get a whole look at everything. Well, I decided to take my pressure washer to it to see if it could knock some more off. And it did. 
it got a decent amount off of it, but there's still a lot. My next endeavor, I'm going to soak it in a bucket of soap water for several days and see if that loosens some more clay. We'll try and knock it off again with the pressure washer. And after that, if there's still a lot on it, I will try a different method. Perhaps hydrochloric acid, or maybe I'll just take a tool to it, like a little screwdriver or chisel, and just kind of gently try and work the clay off. But that's how it looks right now. That's a nice cluster.